everyone, I'm working on this 2014 Jeep Patriot. Now it came in, uh, the owner said that it was uh, going into limp mode and he barely made it here. So I ran the codes on it. It's the uh, really common codes, the 2173 and 2110, which is both basically having to do with the throttle body. Now it's a really common issue and that is normally what is replaced to fix a problem basically a, a, a vacuum leak a, a large amount of vacuum leak so it could be the gasket for the uh, the throttle body also the TPS and everything's all in with the throttle body and it's really common for them to get replaced um, with relatively low mileage so we're gonna go ahead and replace that today and get this thing back on the road so the throttle body is down underneath the intake there. So if you remove the battery cover right here, just turn these little tabs and pull this up. And you can see the throttle body right below the coolant pipe setting down, down in there. So I went ahead and went underneath and removed the splash cover to show you where it is from, from underneath it. If you look right above the front engine mount, the throttle body is sitting right there. So you'll be taking the bolts off from the top and then removing it out from the vehicle. So go ahead and remove the intake tube that's connected between where your air filter is and the throttle body. Take a long screwdriver and take the band clamp off the top right here. Take your electrical connector off here. And then you're going to, have to take a small screwdriver and go underneath in order to get the band clamp off from the opposite side. Now sometimes these electrical connectors right here don't want to come off the way that they're supposed to with a little squeeze clip on there. If you can't get it off by squeezing that clip, then just take your screwdriver and come back here and just lightly pull up on on the fastener and you'll be able to, to remove it out. And I don't know if you can see right there is the part that I was pulling up on. So now I'm going to uh, pull the coolant pipe back, go underneath with a short screwdriver and start taking the band clamp off from underneath. So once you get the band clamps loose and you get the intake pipe loose then you'll need to reach down in there and pull the little push clip off to get the electrical wire off the side of the uh, tube now once you've gotten the electrical wire off the side of the intake tube then you should be able to just bring it right up and through here and i'll show you that the uh, the wire is connected right here and it just takes a push clip to uh, to push it out now i normally stick a pry bar down in there like this and get down back behind it and then just pop it out. Sometimes it can be a little tough to get it off, but once it's off, then you can you have a clear view of the throttle body. And you can see there where it definitely looks dirty, but there'll be some uh, 10 millimeter bolts on the corners. On all four corners, you'll have 10 millimeter. And then on that bottom one, you'll also have a, a bracket underneath, I believe, to, to get it off. You'll need to disconnect the electrical right here. Now you can pull the coolant pipe up and with the same hand, reach down there and just squeeze the little clips. Sometimes they can be tough to also and pull the electrical off from the throttle body right there. These little clips right here, they just push on the back side. But like I said, it, it can be kind of a, a pain to get off and just be careful because this is brittle. You can break it really easily. So now that you got the electrical off, then you'll go down, you'll see a bracket on the top of the throttle body. And if you look right over here, you'll see where the bracket is bolted to. Go ahead and bolt it from right there. I believe that's a 13 millimeter. So once you get that bolt out, then go ahead and start removing the 10 millimeter bolts off from your throttle body. Now in order to get down there, I'm using a long extension like this with a swivel on the end and a 10 millimeter socket. And it reaches right down through there pretty easily. Now once you take the two bolts out that's closest to the engine, you'll be able to remove that bracket out of the way, just like that. So once you get the other two bolts out that's closest to the radiator or to the cooling fans, you'll be, that last one throttle body will drop right off and just kind of wiggle around 
and bring it right up through here. And that's how you remove the throttle body. Now that you have the throttle body out, go ahead and clean around where it was mounted to and replace that seal down there. Sometimes it's a seal that goes bad, sometimes it's the throttle body. Now go ahead and compare the two throttle bodies next to each other. Make sure they look the same. And right here is the gasket part number. And then here is the throttle body part number. Now the gasket's only a couple dollars, but the throttle body is over $200 from your local parts store. So once you get your new gasket down there installed, then go ahead and put the throttle back, body back on and reverse it the way that you took it off. So once you get it bolted back up, get your electrical wiring back on there, and then go ahead and put your intake tube back on there. Make sure that you attach the electrical wiring that's running down there the one that's attaching to your throttle body attach it back to your tube and then tighten up the band clamps and that's how you change your throttle body out on your jeep patriot or you could go underneath where if you take the uh, bottom cover off then you can go underneath and you can access that clip really easily right there and pop it off and then there's an electrical connector for the throttle body So this is the tools I use for this job. I've got the extension there, the swivel with a 10. I've got the little pry bar, the 13 millimeter, a long screwdriver, short screwdriver, a little pick, and then a 10 millimeter with some panel pliers. Now I only use these to take the bottom cover off from the engine. Um, if you're not gonna take the bottom cover off, then you can just make do with this right here. This is to take the seal um, out of the, uh, for the throttle body. So now you can see after the throttle body was replaced that the engine lights are off. I, uh, you know, cleared the codes and then I took it for about a 15 mile drive and everything seems to be fine now. So that fixed the issue. But other than that, one of my future videos is going to be showing you how to install an oil catch can. that will be installed over here on the passenger side on one of the new Ford EcoBoost engines. This one happens to be on a, a new Explorer, but... Just stay tuned for that video. Other than that, thanks for watching my video today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Like it, share it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for the future videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again, everyone. Why did you say that? Say what? I just say thanks for watching. Well, because I'm telling everyone thanks for watching the video.